welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having a great day so far, and I hope that October has been absolutely amazing for you guys. Today I'm going to be chatting about my October favorites and all of the products that I loved throughout the month. I hope that November and December are so much fun for you guys with the holidays right around the corner, and if there are any holiday-related videos you guys want to see, like a DIY holiday gifts or like a holiday gift guide for beauty lovers, let me know in the comments below so I can film them for you, and let's jump into it. Okay, so the first thing that I want to talk about is my Coastal Sense eyeshadow palette because I mentioned this in so many different videos and I keep promising you guys I'm going to give you more details about it so I thought I would just go ahead and share it with you in my October favorites. If you guys are not interested in this palette at all, I will have a timestamp on the screen so you can jump ahead to my other favorites, but because so many of you guys have been asking about it, I wanted to briefly talk about it in this video. So I purchased this empty palette from CoastalSense.com. It was really affordable. I feel like it was maybe $5 right around there, and it was completely empty. So it didn't come with any shadows in it. They do have palettes on the website that have shadows already made. They have like those larger black palettes that have a ton of shadows, and then I think they have palettes similar to this size with their shadows already in it if you are not interested in creating your own custom palette. But I did purchase the palette because I only ordered like four shadows originally because I wanted to try them out and see what they were like. The shadows themselves themselves do come as single shadows and they are available for two dollars or like one ninety nine. They do run sales and I actually got a lot of these for 99 cents which is a great deal so depending on if they're on sale or not you can get this whole palette for 12 to 24 dollars and you can fill it with shadows that you want. So a lot of you guys told me about Coastal Sun shadows and actually one of you left a comment on one of my videos when I was asking for recommendations of warm brown shadows and it was this one right here and I ended up purchasing it and I wear it every single day so I tried their shadows and you guys they are amazing. I haven't really had a whole lot of experience with Coastal Sense shadows in the past but I've heard good things. I've heard they were pigmented and I really like them. You guys know that I'm a huge fan of ColourPop shadows but I don't necessarily love using ColourPop shadows in the crease because they're more of a cream formula so I don't find that they're as easy to blend into the crease. I really like them for the lid because they're so pigmented and beautiful but I've been looking for like brown shadows for the crease so when I tried these I fell in love. I wear one of these three brown shadows in the crease every single day. So I will insert a picture of my palette with the names of each of the shadows on top so you guys can either screenshot it or reference it and decide if there are any shadows that you want to try. Honestly my favorites are the bottom row. I reach for those all the time. I just put them in the bottom because I love using all of those. And then I also like the top row because they have some really beautiful golds and just some beautiful lid shades. I don't reach for a lot of the shadows in the middle row. I ordered them online but honestly I just I haven't really reached for them so I'll probably end up putting those in like a secondary palette that I don't use as often. I have to say if you're looking for good quality shadows for an affordable price, these are a great option. They're so pigmented, so blendable, which is the reason why I really like them for the crease because they just blend beautifully. They're easy to wear. They have so many shades to choose from. So I just wanted to quickly talk about it. If you guys have any questions, let me know in the comments below. They're really affordable. The shipping is so super quick and I can't get enough of it. Also, if you have any recommendations of specific shadows that I need to try, make sure you let me know in the comments below so I can check them out. Okay, so I'm just going to kind of jump around here and be a little bit random. My favorite blush this month was definitely Benefit's Dandelion. If you guys watch my everyday makeup drawer videos, this blush has been in my drawer for like the past few months and honestly I just haven't reached for it a whole lot because it just looked like a plain color. It didn't really look like anything special, it didn't look like anything that I would just love to put on my face. But the first time I used this, I fell in love with it. I actually read the back of the box. The back of the box actually describes it as a brightening finishing powder. So that's the one reason I really tried it because I do really like a bright natural glow to my cheeks, not anything too intense. And I've kind of been steering away from like peach blushes or really bright blushes. So I decided to finally try it out and it is so beautiful on the face. It looks completely different than it does in the pan. In the pan, it just looks like a plain pink. It doesn't look like anything special, but when you sweep it on your cheeks, it has a really very subtle glow to it, so it makes your skin look so beautiful. It really does brighten up your entire face, and it gives you just the right amount of flush. Now, I would have to say if you have a medium to dark skin tone, I don't know that this would even show up on your skin because I really have to pack it onto my cheeks if I want like a little bit more color. Otherwise, it is so incredibly subtle. So if you have very, very pale to light to maybe light to medium skin, this would be a great option for you. But I love how it makes my skin look. I feel like it's so subtle and it's just the perfect complement to any makeup. So I have been trying out a lot of the Bare Minerals glosses over the past few months and I'm still kind of on the fence about them. I feel like the gloss itself 
is really nice. I love how it applies. I feel like the colors are so beautiful because they came out with this whole nude line of glosses and lipsticks. So nudes are my absolute favorite other than red. And I feel like they have so many beautiful colors. If you're looking for the perfect nude, I feel like check out the Bare Minerals line because they have so many different options. But like I said, I love how they apply. I love how they feel on the lips, but they don't necessarily last for a long time, which it is hard to find like a long lasting gloss unless it's super sticky. And they almost dry out my lips, which is really weird for a lip gloss. I feel like lip glosses in general are supposed to hydrate your lips. They're supposed to smooth them. But when this one dries, my lips are so, or like when it wears off, my lips are so dry. But the reason this one is in my favorites video is because I still reach for it all the time. I think that this one in the shade totally is the perfect nude. And you don't have to wear it over lipstick. You can wear it on its own and it just gives your lips a really beautiful look. Or you can wear it over lipstick and you just get like a nice glossy finish. It is sheer, but it still has a good amount of color pigmentation, so it's not going to completely cover the color of your lips, but it just looks really beautiful. So, I don't know. I have a love-hate relationship. I'm not in love with the formula, but I do reach for them all the time. I feel like they're easy to wear, they look great on their own, or they look like great over lipstick. So, I don't know. Let me know your opinion of these in the comments below. So I don't know if you guys watched my last ColourPop haul video, but I talked about a few of their highlighters, and I love wearing their highlighters as eyeshadows. I also like using them as inner corner highlights, as brow bone highlights. I feel like their highlighters are just a great thing to have in your collection because you can use them on the cheeks, but you can also use them on the eyes. And the formula is amazing, the colors are so beautiful, and there are two in particular that I've been loving. So these are two of their newer shades. The first one is in the shade Might Be, and this one is just the perfect champagne with a little bit of gold to it. I think it looks beautiful on the cheeks. I've actually been wearing it a lot on the cheeks, and I don't wear a whole lot of highlighters on the cheeks. I really like Becca's Champagne Pop, and then this one. So this one is just the perfect color. I also like wearing it as an eyeshadow, and when I do wear it as an eyeshadow, I just blend a brown into the crease, and I'm good to go. I actually have a video on my everyday fall makeup, so I will link that one in the description box below if you guys want to check it out. But I've been using this like almost every single day. When I'm not wearing this one, I will usually reach for ColourPop's Candy Man. And this one is just a perfect true gold. It has a little bit of a bronze undertone to it, so it looks so beautiful on like medium to deep skin tones. I mean, if you have light skin, you can also wear this. It would look gorgeous on you, but I feel like it looks so pretty on like medium, tan, or dark skin tones. These are just a great product to have in your collection because you can use them as a highlight on your face, but they also work really well all over your eyes, the inner corner, the brow bone, so they're totally worth the money because you can use them in so many different ways. So I am going to get my hair cut this week. I don't think I'm going to do anything too crazy, but it definitely needs to be trimmed at the very least because it's getting a little bit long, and I think I might get like a few layers in it because it is all like the same length, so it just kind of looks heavy and I just want a little bit of a change. But anyway, I just mentioned that quickly because if you guys have any ideas or if you think like I should chop it or do something really fun, you should let me know in the comments below. But I have been loving the Briogeo Rosarco Blow Dry Perfection and Heat Protecting Cream. I think I did a review of this either in September or maybe October, but I've been using it for about a month and a half, maybe two months at this point, and I love it. It also came in the Boxy Charms for the month of October, so I know a lot of you guys have had the chance to try it, so you'll have to let me know what you think in the comments below. So the thing about traditional heat protectants is that I let my hair air dry about 75%. If I spray my hair with a heat protectant either before or after I let it hair dry, it soaks my hair and it takes so much longer to air dry or blow dry. So I feel like you're doing so much more heat damage because you're blow drying your hair so much longer than you would if you didn't use it. So a lot of times I just skip it, which is so bad. So when I tried this one, I was really surprised because it's actually a cream, so it definitely soaks into your hair a lot quicker and it's really weightless which I was really surprised about because it dries so quickly and I love that because it works as a blow dry cream and a heat protectant at the same time and I use it every single time I blow dry my hair but especially if I'm going to flat iron my hair because I have very frizzy hair so it really helps to tame down on the frizz while preventing heat damage. My only complaint is that it's a little bit hard to coat all of your hair evenly, which it took me a little while to discover, but I feel like it's hard to do that because you rub it through your hands and you rub it through your hair, but since it's a cream, I don't know if I'm getting like all of my hair evenly, which is the only downside, but I do try to focus it on the end.
end. Anyway, I just wanted to mention that because I've been loving it. I did do a review, so if you guys want to check it out, I will link it in the description box below. So I think I talked about this in a recent video. I don't know if it was a favorites video or like a fall essentials video, but you guys, I've been using it every single day since I first discovered it in August, I think. I mean, I'll use other mascaras here and there, but I always go back to this one. And this one is from Essence. It is their Lash Princess Fall Slash Effect Mascara. It is available at Target, I think possibly at Ulta, but it is an amazing mascara. It's so much better than so many of my higher end mascaras. And I, I'm telling you guys, you have to try it. You guys are the ones that told me to try it in the first place and I'm so thankful because it is amazing. It makes your lashes thick and voluminous and it also lengthens them and I can't get enough of it. I mean, for the price, it's definitely worth a shot. So make sure you guys go out and grab it and try it. Okay, I am almost done. I have two more. The first one is the Scandinavia Oil Control Makeup Primer Spray. I recently talked about this in a video, so I, again, I don't know how many videos I've said I will link below, but there's quite a few, so I will link this one below as well. But I love this, you guys. It makes my foundation go on so beautifully, and it makes it last all day long. I have been on the hunt for a primer that will make my foundation stay in place. I have super oily skin, so my foundation just tends to slide off by the end of the day. And if I wear this, not only does my foundation go on really nicely, but it will actually last throughout the day. If you guys have oily skin and you've been looking for something to try, give this one a shot. I really don't think you'll regret it. I like this because you also get four fluid ounces, so you're going to go through this a lot more slowly than you would like a typical foundation that you might get at Sephora. I also like the setting spray, but I think that this one is an essential. I think the setting spray is great as well, but if I only had to pick one, I would definitely pick the makeup primer spray because it just makes my foundation just last and go on so, so beautifully. So I definitely recommend it. My last favorite is an eyeshadow. It is the Milani Bella Eyes Gel Powder Eyeshadow in the shade Bella Ivory. I was really surprised because I actually hit pan on this today and I really just haven't started using it until was it like last month or the month before and I've been using it every single day. I actually use it to set my eyeshadow primer. So I will apply an eyeshadow primer all over the lid and then I will take this shadow and apply it all the way from my lid up to my brow bone to not only set that primer in place but it also helps other shadows blend really beautifully. The thing about this one is that it makes a beautiful highlight. So you can use it in the inner corner, under the brow bone, or you can just use it all over the lid. It has so many uses and it's just one of my favorites. Okay guys, that is the end of my October favorites. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch. Don't forget to leave me a comment below telling me about your favorites because I love hearing from you guys and I will see you in my next video. Bye!